Chicha morada or purple chicha is a national beverage that is not solely linked to my cultural identity, but linked to my house. Every Monday morning, my mom boils water with this purple corn and pineapple skins with sticks of cinnamon and clove. This dense and warm scent invades the whole house and reminds me that the week has started. This smells very close to a perfume that I smelled at Joe Malone's store called Pomegranate Noir, which is a fruity perfume. But the difference is that chicha contains cinnamon sticks, cloves, and lemon. This combination creates a fruity warm smell that is a little bit sweet with a spicy hint but with a refreshing citric end caused by the lemon. Actually, that's the reason why I could drink cold chicha in a hot summer and have it as a porridge in the winter. Another smell of my childhood is the smell of my parents. My dad, who is a businessman and precocious entrepreneurial, he had small businesses since he was 12. He's a very rational person, but keeps always his magical thinking. That's why he will always use uh, some lucky charms like patchouli. It's said that patchouli attracts prosperity, so my dad would sprinkle patchouli oil on his office or his car. Because this will dispel negativity from all his business agreements. Also, patchouli increases energy and attention. And actually, that's my dad's personality. And when it comes to business and his passions like course, writing, or family, he acts like this. Now, my mom, since I have use of reason, I will always link my mom to jewelry. She doesn't like branded jewelry, but, she attempts, but sometimes she'll buy some of those. But she really wants to have a personalized jewelry for her. So I remember going with her to her private jeweler to create a new jewel. She loves all kind of gold, so I would always relay my mom to gold. So the first time she used Yador, all the family felt it was her fragrance because we had the perception that this perfume was like a jewelry to her. Since then, she would always have a bottle of Yador on her perfumes collection. But also I think it's the, the scent of the perfume is very related to her personality because she's a very, she's a sweet woman, but she always wants to be perceived as a very feminine woman. Um, so she uses this perfume um, every day, is an everyday essence for her, like her jewelry. So it's a everyday accessory. And because of that, all her garments actually smell like your door. When I was eight years old, my mom wanted me to use Tommy Girl lunch in 1996. This was my first perfume. This perfume was very citric and actually I don't like it, but for mom, was a synonym of an organized, clean, young girl. And after this experience, I chose my, my teenager perfume, which was a, a fruity one, as the DKNY Be Delicious. Um, I thought this fragrance could bring sexiness to my personality. <laughs> but I was wrong and I noticed I really don't like sweet scents in this case for the fruity ones then after my teenager stage I turned 20 and I tried to use Jador because I wanted to be perceived as a more mature woman but it was too sweet for me and and I think it's not really related to my personality. I will use also Coconut Passion from Victoria's Secret Splash collection. It was also too sweet for me. Then after I graduated from school, I was 
22 years old and I found Miss Dior and I fell in love. It was a much mature version of me, feminine but ready to take any challenge of my new professional career. It was fresh with a floral background but strong because it has patchouli notes and spicy accords. So I felt like this young modern professional feminine woman. Then I'll also use, uh, I still have uh, BIP Roselle, Rosé from Carolina Herrera for a night out because it's a sexy, playful scent. Um, for everyday basis, I will use a perfume called Cory, which is a fragrance that my boyfriend will always give me as a present. Cory is made by Jambal, a Peruvian cosmetic company where my boyfriend works. It's not an expensive perfume, but it's very particular. I mean, all their fragrances are particular because are made in their own laboratories based in grass in France. In France. It's not my favorite, but it's very it's a very good option when I round uh, out of my favorite one. Now I feel I'm still on the search for a new perfume because I feel I'm more I'm a more mature woman. I'll turn 30 soon. And I have more challenging projects in my personal and professional life. So I'm looking for a fragrance that is still strong but it's also wise, with a powdery floral, with a free spirit like, like me. So I went to Jo Malone and I mixed a base with a Velvet Rose Oud and a Wood Sage Sea Salt. And I think it's the perfect combination for all the things I described.